All right, this is how to locate your normal file on Microsoft Word in order to replace it if you need to. Now, uh, I had a kind of a difficult time finding how to do this on Lion. So if you're on Snow Leopard, uh, you can just easily go to Finder and find your uh, your library in your user but if you're on uh, the new lion you can't it's quite simple though you just go over to go and click on uh, library but I think actually you have to hit the option button hold the option button then click go and then library yeah see how that shows up okay see and I clicked on computer so you click on option go and then a library and then okay so you'll see on the right hand side here I have the uh, the chain that you need to file it's going to be under users library which we're just in application support Microsoft Office user then template so uh, application support which opens up the application support folder and we need to go to Microsoft which is right there okay and then office and then user templates and there you go what I would recommend doing is making a backup copy of this uh, before you change it in case you do any major changes so before you replace any one you know maybe copy this to your desktop rename it normal backup or something in case you need to replace it so what all you'll need to do though is if you have the um, a normal file with the that you want to replace you just uh, paste it in there replace it and it'll then you can open up your word so Word opens up, and what you'll do is you'll go to View Toolbars, and I've named mine Grading. Should come up as Grading as yours as well, and you'll be able to move this around if you need to. I didn't want it to be a part of this because uh, I did have some problems uh, with it before. So let's say we have some uh, text here. Let me just go over to. Uh, Yahoo and get some text. Let's look at government spending, how it will increase. Copy that over to here. So I'm writing a paper just like a student would, huh? Okay, so let's say we have this content, and here we have our uh, we have our toolbar here. Export, it's not going to do anything, but most of these from introduction all the way to uh, basically final feedback are going to be insert comments into the paper. So, uh, for example, you highlight something, you'll go to thesis, and let's say I've got them titled here, has the thesis but not clear, and it inserts the comment right there. Um, now, when you get down to our like uh, final feedback. Now these are ones that I wrote in about uh, that I want to put at the end of the paper. Um, that kind of gives it a, a kick start there. So like the final feedback would be like if you had a um, grading guide or something that you want to do so like it would be final feedback uh, a, the A, these are grades obviously, good A, B, C, D, F, and bad. So A is, um, where's the one that says, this paper provided many examples that held up with the central idea. It's kind of generic, but it's a good way to pop those in there. And then you'll see the final feed, uh, pardon me, plan of action are things that I kind of give them at the end of it, uh, like keep up the good work, or you need, let's see, there's, you need to have sites. It's kind of a, here are some areas I suggest that you focus on before submitting your next paper. So these obviously be inserted into a grading guide of some sort. So, and you can, if you just do happen to click that off, uh, you could easily just go back to view 
uh, toolbars and then bring up your grading again. So some of these, like um, I, I'm, I'm thinking of the thesis ones, are kind of I, they're not. Yeah, see, they're not. They didn't pop up as uh, as comments. It's something I just need to work on. So maybe uh, if you can, as you go through, maybe you'll find something you like. Maybe add to it, subtract to it. I'll gladly help you out with that. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Best of luck.